Hi guys and welcome to another video and we are going to experiment in the kitchen and we are going to try and make a flaxseed pudding. Yeah, a flaxseed strawberry pudding. So let me move here and I'll put the benefits of flaxseed here on the screen. So keep your eyes on that, pause the video if you want to have a close look at that. And what we're going to simply need is some water which is heated up and boiled up already some sweetener the strawberries to make it a strawberry pudding and then we're going to need these bad boys which is your flaxseed so let's get into the kitchen well I'm in the kitchen already so let's get going and I'll show you and let's experiment and see what happens Stay tuned. So we start off with our strawberries. Just get trim them up nicely and give them a good wash. Lots of strawberries here. So once we've got enough, and I'll wait for you so we can see how much we need to work with this recipe. We're then gonna take two saucepans, a bigger one and a smaller one. So into the big saucepan, we're gonna go in with six tablespoons and this will make two servings so six tablespoons of the flaxseed so if you want to do one serving just go with three tablespoons and there's a close-up of what this flaxseed looks like if you haven't seen it before we're going to then take our boiled water and put a decent amount I would say roughly about 300 mils, possibly 400 mils, and maybe even 500 mils of water which has been pulled from the kettle. And then we're going to put the heat up and start heating that pan up. So we're going to start off with a quite a big heat for it to start working its magic. In about five minutes time we're going to put it on the low heat total cooking time approximately 15 minutes that's one and five minutes keep stirring all the time just so your flaxseed doesn't burn to the bottom of the pan and my assistant here will make sure that doesn't happen now we take this big beautiful shiny knife and we use it to cut all these strawberries up also bear in mind that this is the flaxseed of the gold variety which is a little bit more expensive but works better. Now I'm going to try and zoom in there for you and I don't know if the camera will actually reflect that this is actually starting to get gelatinous like jelly and hence our pudding so hopefully you can see that. There's no magic tricks or camera tricks that's how it really looks. So in our second pot we've just put in our strawberries and in order not to pan, not to burn, we're going to put in also some frozen strawberries which we've slightly defrosted already and just put them on a very low heat mixing all the time to make sure they break them up so basically we're almost like making strawberry jam here so very low heat, 75% fresh strawberries to so 25% frozen strawberries and the frozen strawberries are just there to help the consistency and for the pan and the other strawberries not to burn. Now into the strawberries we're going to go with some sweetener and this is again as much as or as little as you want to taste. Depends on your strawberries, put less, put more but entirely up to you. Remember you can always add, you can't take away once you've put in more. So everybody, hope you're enjoying this recipe so far. If you've ever done anything crazy like this, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna get back in because we're going in for the final stages right now. Let's go back in there. So that's our flaxseed really starting to get thick as you can see. Now depending on how thick you want your pudding is how long you're gonna keep it. If you want a more runnier pudding, you're gonna take it off now. If you want a more thicker consistency pudding, you're gonna carry on and let it evaporate a little bit. In here we now have our strawberries which are almost done. Look at that, nice and saucy. I could actually eat these on my own. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our strawberry and sweetener mixture 
and we're gonna pour it in very slowly into our boiled flaxseed mixture to make our pudding. So make sure you get all that goodness out and then we're gonna start stirring like crazy to get that all mixed in to make our flaxseed or gold flaxseed strawberry pudding. And this is what it looks like after we've put it in and mixed it up. Again, you want a little bit thicker, go thicker. You want it sweeter, put more sweetener. But this is what you're kind of looking for. So let's give it a taste test in a minute, put it in the bowl and see what this thing is really made of. So once you've got it to consistency you want, pour it into your bowl of choice. Today we're gonna go for this black bowl as all my bowls and all my plates are black but and that's our golden flaxseed strawberry pudding probably one of the healthiest omega puddings you're gonna have so let's get to the table and do a taste test for you now so first we're gonna try and do a smell test for you because we eat with our smell first and everything so and it just tastes like cooked strawberries and if you don't think I'm gonna eat this there it is so this is very hot so I hope you're not, not gonna burn my mouth so thinking about the omega-3s in here and the flu and being healthy and everything so that's and it's so jellyfied that it it just went straight off the spoon it again it, it doesn't want to be eaten actually let, let me show you because you're not going to believe this let me show you a close-up of this so there we go and you can see i'm minding my own business and putting it on the spoon and of course this time it stays on the spoon see it never works when you want it in the real life so let's give it a mix Pick it on the spoon and it stays on the spoon. Well, so that didn't work. So let me get to my taste test now. Okay, so let's go. I have golden flaxseed strawberry pudding. And of course now it comes off the spoon. Let me just focus up a little bit. There we go. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> It's gloopy. It's like a jello -y jelly with sesame seeds. Not bad. Needs more sweetener. Just a tad, but I can do this. So. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that recipe. Give it a try, you never know, you might like it. I'm gonna sign off for now. I'll catch you in the next video. See you then.